AI animations. Today, I am going to be showing you how to make this. Here we are using Gen 1, which is the cleanest, fastest, and easiest AI animation out right now. This is insane for animating storyboards, music videos, memes, etc. So let's just jump right in. First, log in, go to the AI Magic Tools section, then click on Gen 1 Video to Video. From here, you can drag and drop a video from your desktop or select an asset already in your library. For this example, I uploaded a clip of myself looking into the camera because I wanna see if I could turn myself into Spider-Man. And if you don't like Spider-Man, well, then you can fight me. And guess what? You're not gonna win because I'm Spider-Man, all right? Greatest suit. Anyway, there are three main ways to animate your footage. One, you can upload a reference image like this. Two, you can select a preset. These are pretty basic. For example, claymation or a sketch style, you know, things of that nature. Or you can enter a text prompt like Spider-Man with maybe a bit more detail just to get the results a little bit more accurate to what you're trying to do. If you want to pop something out quickly, you can set the style string and hit generate and bam, you're done. How insane is that? I don't have a job anymore. Kidding. You can also select preview style here and then select which one you want to animate from there. FYI, style strength is how much it goes off the style versus your original imported video. The advanced settings are where things get really fun and creative. So let's go through them. One, we have structural consistency. The higher the value, the more structurally different it will be from the input video. We are talking about shapes here. For weight, the higher the value, the more it looks like AI style versus your original video. So how much it changes the color, the style, ambiance, and all of those things. Frame consistency. This to me is the most important part. The lower the number, the more the AI tries to make an image from scratch. Whereas the higher the number, the more it tries to match the previous frame. This is what makes it so smooth compared to other jittery AI videos we see so often. The next batch of settings is relatively straightforward. You can upscale the output, remove the Gen 1 watermark, change only the subject, change only the background, or demonstrate a before and after with a compare wipe. The key is to discover a perfect blend of settings that captures the visual aesthetic that you're looking for. And that's it, you're already set to start transforming anything into everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna reach out to us, please leave us a comment or feel free to join our Discord and join our little community. It's a lot of talented artists and it's really fun.